I'm back now, I believe we're already just about to see my intro. And there is a few bits of this video that might seem a bit mi mismatched and maybe a few bits of it missing in some areas. I'm sorry about that, but I, I could not record today's video on my device where everything got sent over to my phone. My phone, my camera, my first lens on my camera doesn't work very well at the moment. So I'm, I'm getting a new phone soon, shortly. So hopefully there won't be that many more of these jumbled up sort of videos as hopefully next game I can have a device for the Sheffield Wednesday game which couldn't link up very well. But anyway, here's the vlog. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel today. And today it is Blackpool versus Exeter City in the EFL League One. So I'm absolutely buzzing for today. Cannot wait for it. We've we've got to get the win today. The pool have got to start winning these games whereas we're gonna get trapped in the bottom end of the league. And if you haven't watched my preview vlog, which I did yesterday evening, um, please go and check it out and watch it. It will be on my channel. But anyway, here was my pre prediction from the vlog. And that's why I am saying a 3-1 performance. I believe in Steve Bruce. I'm going to believe in him for the next five weeks or so. And that is going to be me. Unless, unless we get battered every week, which I hope we haven't jinxed us. Because I do believe we have to get behind him. So there, you've just seen my prediction. A 3-1 win to Blackpool. Goals from, I believe I said, Carl Joseph, Jordan Rhodes and Rob Apter. So 3-1 win to the pool. Quite confident from a defensive coach, but like Steve Bruce. But hopefully we can get the win and hopefully it can be a good game. Um, yeah, let's get down to Bluefield Road. I know it is, but it's a huge role. Inside Bluefield Road, this time well on time with the quite a few extra fans behind me, not as many, a bit more probably than what Wick and Wanders brought. I'm about to read you the Blackpool and Exeter City lineup. So in net for Blackpool, we have got Harry Tyre and Husband in defence, Gabriel in defence as well. I believe they're playing in centre back roles, and Ollie Norburn, Lee Evans, Kyle Joseph, Don Ballard, Ollie Casey, CJ Hamilton and Offy. So that is a that is a big thing. He's not playing for us yet, so he's making his debut on the starting lineup today, so that is a big thing. And then Rob Apter. And on the bench we've got number one Richard O'Donnell, Matthew Pennington, number ten Ollie Casey, Ollie Elliot Embleton, Hayden Coulson, Jordan Rhodes and Jake Beasley. And for Exeter we have Whitworth, Nisakan, Sweeney, Cramera, Yiko, McMillan, Woods, Doyle, Arch Atchinson, McGuinness, which is the man to watch that I said in my recent video, and Ali. And on the bench, we've got MacDonald, Purrington, Fitzwater, Francis Cole, A. Richards and Cox. So they are all the people who are on the pitch for Exeter and the substitutions, and they're all the people for Blackpool as well. So I'll put them on the screen now. They'll be on, she'll be on. They're the lineups that I've talked both from the Blackpool page and the Exeter page. So I'll be doing that every video now as well. So let's hope we can have a good game and come on the pool.
chance of Blackpool. Great attack though but great unveiling then for Steve Bruce. I recorded some of it. The person behind the mic said everyone welcome Steve Bruce. Great unveiling the club, getting the fans right behind him strong from the off pretty much. quiet now in Bloomfield Road, nothing for the fans to bounce off at the moment, it's very quiet, uh, all you can hear is Exeter. Took a shot, and all the um, 
Well, the Exeter goal keeps on the ground. Don't know what for, but very close. Just need to get a bit more comfortable with taking the shot. <laughs> quiet in the game now after a very energetic first 10 minutes, 17 minutes in now. Need the intensity to get back up there for Blackpool. Added minutes now here. Just gotta really hang on to our time. I say this every time, but it is crucial now. But if we can get another, go and get it. Okay, we just need to keep up the performance and try and get some more goals and let's hope we can get out there and win it in the second half because we really do need these three points and come on the pool. And and get this win.
我做啊，做啊，做啊。I sent her for this to gain her the seaside. It's time to read. It's Kyle Joseph and the Ace of Piety. Don Ballard's coming off now, he's injured, he's limping on his leg. Jordan Rhodes is coming on to replace him. Oh, go on. Finding another goal, really, right now. just went over the bar. Go and chase him.
Wow, Tor! Wow, Tor! Oh! He's playing advantage! Referee should be sending off one of the Exeter City players who's already on a yellow card. He should be he should be off now on a double yellow. I'm running onto it. So it's just annoying. You can hear all the black fans think about it, but we do always get those type of refs. Come on, Blackpool, get in the net. Oh god, go on! Go! <laughs> we really went into that. That's a keeper. Yeah. In Jordan Road. This ref has been horrendous today. A little thing a Blackpool player does, they get they get quite they get a yellow card, and then an ex player does something ridiculous. They get a yellow card. Ryan Woods, number six for Bristol, not Bristol, uh, Exeter City, had um, had punched the ball pretty much in the handball, and already got a yellow card early and did not get sent off. I do not understand how that's happened. the back post from the free kick I've never quite seen anything as it was well taken but it was curling out should have been someone at the back post need another win black to get the win, we need to get up in that box, we need to score and ultimately stop drawing Blackpool. Oh come on. Oh, 
Come on, the yellow car again. C3 Sajid you know, Army. This will be the final. Go on. Bluefield Road and after an amazing performance from Blackpool I just cannot get over that last minute from Jake Beasley absolutely oh, incredible amazing. absolutely incredible unreal I've, uh, I don't remember ever celebrating a last minute winner under Neil Critchley it's just a massive difference and see the fans enjoying the new manager and singing his name from the start they just got behind him which is what we need at Blackpool we need a bit of getting behind them so thank god we did do that and see you in the next one